Okay, let's use linear approximation to find an approximate value of the square root of 17. And uh, here's what we have. f of x is approximately f of a plus f prime of a times x minus a. And what is this a value? The a value is going to be just a value that is close enough to what we're looking for here, whose actual precise value we already know. So in this case, I'm going to pick 16 for a. So a is just going to be 16. Why is that? Well, because I know that the square root of 16 is equal to 4. Marvelous. So with this wonderful piece of knowledge, and the fact that we know that our a will be 16, what should we do? Well, first I'm just going to say f of x is the square root of x, right? which is equivalent to x to the power of half. So if I take the derivative of this, I can bring down the exponent, I get half x to the power of negative half, because I need to subtract 1 from the half. So I can rewrite this and have 1 over 2 square root of x. And why am I going to need this? Well, for this portion over here. So, okay, so let's continue. So I have f of 17 is going to be approximately f of a. So, in other words, it's going to be the square root of 16 because our a is 16 plus f prime of a. So that's 1 over 2 root 16. So I'm just plugging the 16 in here as well because that's f prime of x times x minus a. In this case our x is 17 minus the a which is 16. So f of 16 is going to be approximately 4 Oops. Right, because the square root of 16 is 4 plus 1 over now, down here, we have 2 times the root of 16. The root of 16 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. Times, now look at this, 17 minus 16 is just 1. So we're basically done. 4 plus 1 8 times 1 is just 1 8. So f of 17, or the square root of 17, is going to be approximately 4 and an eighth. Now I'm just gonna make an attempt here to actually graph this and show you graphically what we have just done. And here is our oh that's terrible. Here is our graph of or I'm graph the sketch of y equals the square root of x. Okay. This won't look too precise, but uh, I think it would be good enough. And uh, let's say that this over here will be our um, 16. And we know that the square root of 16 is equal to 4. And But we, want to know, we wanted to know the square root of 17. So if I zoom in here, and I'm running out of room, so I'm going to over there. Here's the real curve of the square root of x. Zoomed in, of course. And this was where I got the 16. x is 16 at this point. Then, once we found the square root of, or rather, sorry, the derivative of the square root, we essentially figured out the slope of this right here. And then we said to ourselves, okay, so what is the difference between the 17 and the 16 here? That's just one, one unit. 
we knew that this height here was 4. I know this is getting a little bit confusing because that's just the me zooming in here. But hopefully it will make sense to some, if not most, if not all of you. And uh, here we had the 16, so I wanted to figure out the value of 17 using the linear approximation. And uh, since the linear approximation provided us with this, we knew that the slope was an eighth. And since we just went one unit over from the 16 to the 17, we just went one eighth of a unit up from the four. So it follows that the approximation is four and one eighth. And uh, what's the difference between the real curve and the linear approximation? Well, I just kind of messed up my drawing here by uh, filling in the, the blue line. But it'll be very slight, it'll be very small, it'll be something like this. If we plug in the square root of, uh, and this would be, of course, a pictorial depiction of what, what, what I had here before. <laughs> so if we plug the square root of 17 into the calculator, it's going to be very, very close to 4 and an 8. So hopefully that made great sense to you.